Hello viewers, welcome back to our channel. My name is Elba Satale. If this is the first time you are seeing any of our videos or visiting our channel, you are especially welcome to the family. Please hit on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified whenever I post a new video. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. So guys, we'll be making use of these two fabrics to make the skirt. I'll be using the purple one for the skirt and I'll be using the other one for the gathered. So guys, let's get started. The first thing I went ahead to do is to rule a straight line. That's going to serve as my starting line. Then I'll go to take my body measurement. I'll take from the waist to the hip line, which is 9 inches. Then I'll take it to the half length of my skirt, which is 14 inches. The full length is 18 inches, so the other the other four inches is going to be for my for my gathered. Now I'm going to roll the lines. So guys, after doing this, the next thing is to come down here by half inch, which is going to serve as my joining allowance. So guys, after doing this, I'm going to be taking my round body measurement. The waist measurement is divided by 4. I'll mark it. I'll be adding 1 inch for that and 2 inches for the sewing allowance. Then the hip measurement is divided by 4. I'll mark it and I'll be adding 2 inches for the sewing allowance. The under hip measurement divided by 4. I'll mark it and also add 2 inches for the sewing allowance. Then I'm going to connect it together. So guys, after doing this, I'll be coming down the waistline by half inch. Then I'll, I'll roll a slant line just to reduce that part there. Then I'll cut it out. So guys, this is the front. I'm going to be using this front one now to cut out the back. So for the back, I already place it, I already fold it. You can see I have uh, my three inches for the for the zip allowance and I also have it uh, like a two inches there as a space then I'm going to place the front on it then on this zipper allowance I'll mark 1.5 on the waistline and 2 inches on the hip line and 1.5 on the under hip line then I'm going to connect it together like that So now I'll come to the uh, waistline and uh, you know we reduce the waist of the front by half I'll be adding that half an extra half inch which is going to give me one inches so I'll mark my one inches then I'll connect it to meet uh, the waistline just the way you see me doing it so guys basically after doing this I'm just going to cut it out see it's very easy to drop the back then I'll cut it out just the way we did it so now guys this is what we have we have the back and the front now i'm going to be using this one i'll be using it to trace out the lining so guys i'm done tracing it out and this is what i have so so that's it i also went to cut out like two inches wide this is going to be for the band so now guys i'm going to go to my sewing machine and i'm going to add, i'm going to sew the lining to meet the fabric so i'm just going to open it up like this and i'm going to take it to the machine and sew it round. i'll do the same thing to the back so guys i'm done sewing i also went ahead to put the dots you see i put the dots on all of them the back and the front so i've done all that i also use the overlock machine to sew the, the sides now i'm going to put the back together and you can see i already ruled the line for the zip so i'm going to be measuring down like seven inches for the zip then i'll be sewing from that seven inches downward so guys i'm done sewing it this is what i have now i'm going to be using my pin to pin that other part i didn't sew which is going to be for the zip because i'm about to show you guys something you know that half inch that we added to the to the hip area when we are cutting out the zipper allowance so i'm going to show you the effect so guys this is the result of that half inch it will give it like um a space for the board to sit perfectly now guys i'm going to bring the two together the back and the front and i'm going to be taking my body measurement my round body measurement so i'm done doing that and the next thing now is just to sew it 
guys this is what i have after sewing into my sewing machine so i already joined it together and you can see the bots allowance is still there and now the next thing i'm going to do is to cut out these pieces i'm going to be using for the gathered on the underneath the skirt so i have like three pieces of them and they are five inches long guys i'm going to join the pieces together so i'm done joining them and i have one long piece so i'm going to be folding these parts i'm going to be folding it to the end i'm done folding and the next thing now you can see i'm done folding it and the next thing i'm going to do now is to um, make a gathered line i'm going to take it back to my sewing machine and sew a very loose line two lines which i'm going to use to make the gathers i'm done sewing that lines and you can see i have my threads um you see i have my threads which i'm going to be using to to make the gather effect so now that's what i'm just going to start doing now and after after gathering it then i'll take it to the next step so to gather it you're going to draw the lines sorry the threads that's on the on the uh, right face not on the wrong face you see the the thread is on the right face of the of the of the fabric so that's what i'm drawing to make the gathers i'm just going to keep doing this until i make gathers on this whole fabric so guys this gather took me approximately about 12 minutes to to finish it really took time and ah it was stressful in a way because i had to be careful not to cut one of the threads if not i will have to start all over from the beginning but i didn't have to do that because i was careful enough so you see what i have i'm done doing it i'm just trying to make sure everything is um the same so guys now i'm going to bring back the skirt and what i'll be doing now is to lose this part a little bit you see so i'm going to be placing my gathered the right face facing the right face of the skirt you know right face facing each other and i'm going to sew it round guys i'm done sewing and you can see how it's already looking the skirt is coming out nice already can't wait to finish it so guys now i'm going to turn the back and these parts here i'm going to join it together so guys i'm done doing that you see i've joined it together and i'll just turn back the front you see the guy is so full like he's really popping so yeah now the next thing is to place the band on it but before i do that i'm going to be fixing the zip yes i wanted to fix the zip from the band downwards but i realized my zip is not long enough i'll just fix the zip like that and i'll make my band to have like a button so now i'm done fixing the zip guys as you can see i'm done fixing the zip so the next thing i have to do now i just cut off this excess and the next thing is to fix the band so to fix the band the first thing i'm going to be doing is i'll, I'll fold it together like this and sew it downwards like one inch sew it like one inch downwards and stop there and leave like half inch which i'm going to be using to join it so i'll just sew it from this edge to this edge i'm done sewing it guys just trim off the excess now i'm going to turn it to the front you see i'll turn it to the front and i'll be opening it up like this and i'll be fixing one part of it i'm not facing it together i'm facing one part of it you see because i'm going to be using the other parts to turn it i don't want the sewing to show so i'll sew it round guys i'm done sewing you see i'm done sewing um i'm done sewing it i'll just leave like two inches here and and i'll cut off the other remaining addresses now guys we're going to be doing the same thing we did to that part to this part so we just sew it down like one inch and stop there again and leave like half inch so we are done doing that and now I'll turn it out again just the way we did the first time so the next thing now is to be is to fold it 
I'm going to use my pin to fold it here before taking it to the machine. I'll just fold it like just the way you see me doing it. You see, I'll just turn it together like this, make sure it's inside, and I'll pin it down. Just the normal way you fix a band on a skirt, so it's really easy. Just pin it down. Then I'm going to do the same thing round it. Then before I'll take it to my machine to stitch it down. Because if I say let me do this while I'm stitching, it might not come out so well. So that's why it's necessary you do it on the table like this. Then you just stick it to your machine and it will be easy to stitch down. So guys, I'm done. You see, the next thing is just to stitch it. So I'm done stitching it and also went ahead. You see, see, it came out so neat. You see, I also went ahead to use the manual sewing machine to make um, a buttonhole on, on it. If you missed my video on, on how to make, on how to use a manual sewing machine to make a buttonhole, the link is in the description below. You can go there and watch it. Now I'll put my button and that's all for the skirts. We are done. So guys, it came out so nice and I'm so excited, you see? Yeah, that's me wearing the skates. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. See you all in my next video. Bye-bye.